Greenpeace uh, was interested in Asia prior to uh, any of the other Asian offices being set up. There was Greenpeace Japan, and what motivated Greenpeace to establish that presence was the anti labeling campaign. Before Tina and I were recruited, there was an Asia project. Clearly, they were thinking about uh, setting up official presence in Asia, but didn't know where and how. So, talk six, especially the dumping of passages waste in the early to late 90s. I don't know about you guys, but when Greenpeace uh, first came to the picture uh, in the region, uh, there was a bit of uh, skepticism uh, on the part of local groups, like, you know, oh, this is big green <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Greenpeace organized skill shares with local activists, and that's how we built trust uh, with the organization and also started building alliances. Athena and myself were in the way because there was no office. That time we were floating. We were supposed to be Asian campaigners, expected to cover the entire region. But they anticipated that the future of the movement, or the environmental movement, or the future of China lies in what happens in Asia. And that's how Gypsy was formally established. Year 2000, right after the ship tour, we had a toxic pre-Asia tour, a defining moment for the establishment of the office.